Mi gente, vamos a hacer un arroz con atún. Fácil y sencillo. Vamos a empezar. Let's make a rice with tuna fish. Simple and easy. Let's start this recipe. Leave the seeds. So today will be rice and tuna. Wait, upside down tuna? Yeah, upside down tuna. Hoy va a hacer atún. Vamos a hacer un arroz con atún. Let's make a rice with tuna. Simple and easy. I don't know why, but it, this knife, I always love this knife. Este cuchillo siempre me gustó. And this knife has been with me for the past five years. Love it. Me encanta. So, we're going to have these peppers. Vamos a este pimiento. Porque vamos a darle color al arroz. Y ahora tenemos el amarillo. Lo cortamos finitito porque vamos a cortar en small slices. Because I want to have a lot of colors and different colors in the rice. Quiero tener muchos colorcitos dentro del arroz. Entonces, este arroz no le voy a echar sofrito. I'm not putting sofrito in this rice. Now, you know, like I always say, you do this recipe as you like whatever you like. If you don't like peppers or just want green pepper, then so be it. That's what you're going to put, green peppers. Si no te gustan los pimientos así de colores, nada más le pones pimientos verdes y ya estás. No es una cosa de otro mundo. Ahora estamos todos, we put them all together. Ya tenemos los pimientos y las cebollas. Y vamos a tener... Esta es una receta que voy a hacer aparte. This is another recipe that I'm going to do separately. How to do your green um, garlic. But these garlic, I'm telling you, you could just eat them raw. The reason why I did them like that is because I like them raw. Because it's so good. You actually do not taste... The, the bitterness of the garlic and the spiciness. Le voy a enseñar cómo lo hacen. Ese es el nuevo um, que están los coreanos y los chinos haciendo el ajo verde para comer con la comida. Porque el ajo tiene unas propiedades para los pulmones, para el corazón, para el cerebro, para Alzheimer's. But I flow the left beard now. It's good for the heart. It's good for the heart. It's good for the Alzheimer's. It's good for your breathing, for your circulation, for anti-inflammatory for the body. It is. I'm sorry. It's like I'm always giving schools about this. But, you know, nature is where 
nature is and it's good. God created and it's good for us. Y este ajo, mi gente, se lo digo que cruzo lo puedo comer and you have fun. So now we have, mire, ahí tenemos. Green, red, yellow, white. This is what we need for our tuna. So let's start. Okay, so we saw the peppers. One packet of sa uh, sazon. A can of tuna. Un atún. Un bay leaf. So, aquí tenemos el sazon. This right here that you see is the skin of shrimp. I dry them and I dehydrate them. Right here is cumin and this is lemon with pepper and some bits of orange. So you see, I dry my lemons and then you put them in a powder and you can make powder out of this. See that bag? That's what I do, I dehydrate them. So this is where I get my seasonings. And let's start. This is really, I'm trying to make it really, really quick. So two cups of water. I'm gonna heat that up. Put him down. <laughs> So that's going to come to a boil, and then we just start adding everything up. Okay, ahora que esta agua ya ya empezó a hervir, start to boil. Let's add our ingredients. Now you remember, if you cannot get the shells of the shrimp, you could buy the broth of seafood. Easy. And if you don't want the broth, then don't put the broth. Put chicken broth instead, and with the tuna, it works fine. Now. I'm going to put my vegetables in it. It looks like if I'm doing soup. I have no celery, just the peppers and onions and garlic. That is it. Now you would say, why she's not stir frying? Why? Because like a soup that everything takes flavor, that's how I want it. One bay leaf, salt, no. The lemon is going to give it that fresh test, that fresh, uh, fresh taste. Then you got the onions, and then you got the peppers, and then you got the garlic, which that sweet garlic is amazing, which is beautiful. And then you got your tuna, so we're going to let it boil for a bit. It's up to you if you want to put salt, but I wouldn't if you put the broth in it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put the salt. Now, if you don't have the broth, you could use bay seasoning, which is good as well. And that is it. You don't have to do nothing else to it. Ahora, usted vio lo que yo hice, que puse todos los ingredientes aquí. ¿Por qué no los sofreí? Porque es como si fuera estilo sopa, que todos los vegetales están sacando sus sabores y así es como me gusta. Entonces, cuando yo ponga el atún, pues entonces el atún también va a darle sabor a todo este caldo. Y después le echamos el azón. At this point, we're going to use short grain rice. You can use long rice, but you see we're going to use short. And it's still, my hands are still wet because I washed it and I just kept it there. So if you wash it, you keep it there. It's going to look like if you never washed it. So now we're going to let this boil. And then we're going to come back with this process. Ahora el arroz está echado. The rice is in it right now. Cup and a half for two cups of water. And now we're going to put our tuna fish. Vamos a poner nuestro atún para que ese arroz coja un sabor a tuna. Y vas a ver a marisco, a camarones. It's going to taste like seafood with a tuna fish, with the, uh, the skin of the shrimp. It's going to have this taste in the peppers and the onions, the sweet garlic. Oh my God, it's going to be amazing. But I'm going to write everything in the bottom description. Okay? As soon as the rice is done, we'll serve it and I'll show you. Cuando tú no estás lo hecho, vengo, lo sirvo y se los enseño. Volvemos en 25 minutos. So it's done. Ya está hecho. Vamos a ver el arroz con tuna. Miren los colores que tiene. Atún. Su 
probably truly tzatziki salad. I put some beans. You know, we have to have some beans around. And then, of course, some green plantains. And this is it. Un arroz con atún. Con atún. Mechuelita y maduros. Tuna fish rice. With beans. And sweet plantains. That's it. If you like, please subscribe. Please ring that bell. Leave me comments and I'll answer. Si le gusta este video, por favor. Déjenos su comentario. Suena esa campanita. Mi gente, estamos aquí para hablar. Dios me lo bendiga, Dios me lo guarde, and be blessed. Until next time, YouTube.